on with us now india has invited pakistan along with other nations for the shanghai cooperation summit where the sco foreign ministers are going to be meeting in goa in may this year the invitation from the external affairs minister mr s jay shankar has been sent through the indian high commission in islamabad for his pakistani counterpart Bilawal Bhutto Zardari reportedly the foreign minister Bilawal Bhutto has received this invite but it's yet to take or give us an RSVP on that now remember last week in an interview the Pakistan prime minister Shahbaz Sharif had offered peace talks with India stating that Pakistan seeks serious and sincere talks and conversations with India it is pertinent to note here that if Pakistan accepts this particular invite for the SEO summit it will mark the first such visit in nearly 12 years for Pakistan at an invitation by India now India's invitation to Pakistan foreign minister is particularly significant given the all time low in the bilateral indo pakistan relations abhishek continues to be with me on the broadcast abhishek exactly my point considering at this point uh, the bilaterals between india and pakistan are an all at an all time low how do we read this particular invitation that has been sent out through the indian high commission in pakistan so uh, griha uh, talking about this invitation uh, india actually has an obligation to invite all the few members mm. including china and pakistan and other central asian countries russian uh, russia will also be sent an invite in this regard uh, because india holds the presidency of for sco uh, for 2023 and in that context it had an obligation and uh for pakistan to participate it will have to take a call it has a right to come on all the multi uh, lateral platform that it is part to uh, like in sco pakistan is a member so it has the total right to participate in all the uh, ministry level meetings but we will have to see from here onwards whether pakistan will have a participation at ministry level or will it downgrade it to some uh, you know ambassadorial level or something else but uh, we are sure that pakistan uh, was uh, pakistan has been invited and pakistan uh, will probably uh, take part in this meeting also uh, to to give some perspective we are mm. recently we have seen that in g20 uh, when uh, the west and usa were very much against participation of Rus- russian president vladimir putin in g20 uh, really summit which happened in uh, indonesia's bali uh, until the last few days it was not clear whether putin will be part of the meeting and just uh, two three days uh, before the regulators we got to know that uh, foreign minister sergey lavrov will be replacing or will be representing vladimir putin in the meeting of g20 so uh, we are not sure from here on what uh, when the invites will be sent to all the countries who all will come in what capacity whether uh, she's in thing uh, chinese president will come in person or will he also appoint somebody to represent him uh, and the same case goes for pakistan also so india just had an obligation and as a courtesy Uh, india has sent all the invitations to all the member countries and now it's uh, in the in the pakistan court uh, how is going to respond and how soon is going to respond absolutely and that. abhishek if at all uh, that invitation is accepted by bilawal bhutto zardari it is going to be the first such appearance by a pakistani foreign minister since 2011 in india so that also makes it very very significant Uh, of course of course and uh, in fact uh, india is going to be very important diplomatically uh, in this year because it's going to host g20 also it's going to host sco also a lot of bilateral differences will be put behind and talk of uh, you know global goods and uh, common challenges and common objectives and delegated mm-hmm. by uh, minister all right abhishek jha thank you so much for all that information we are